Hello everyone, it's Lori at ArtedDesigns.ca. I'm going to show you today how, what all these things mean on your label design. So the safe zone, the trim zone, the bleed, and this this is a new one here for me. It's a, a border. So it's, it's just a message by the company that says, you know, if you want to put a border on it, this is how much it needs to be this size here. So uh, in Illustrator, we don't use fractions, so you'd actually have to convert that to a decimal point when setting up your document. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab a rectangle. Uh, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is show you the layers panel here. So when we come over here, initially, you're probably going to be on one of the locked layers. So if I go to the locked layer, which is probably the one you start on, you, um, you won't be able to do anything. It'll have like a pencil with a like a, a no go sign. So you want to make sure that you're on the this artwork layer here. And the reason why they put it in between, so if I just turn this off here, you'll see that's that's everything underneath. And this here is the lines. So it's just a bleed line. And then it, we want to be on this layer right here, your artwork. So as you guessed, I got this template from a company called Uprinting. It's pretty neat there. Uh, they have tons and tons and tons of label designs and uh, templates that you can download and just uh, put it into your AI. Or uh, they actually have PDF and PNG as well as a publisher document that you can use depending on you know what program you'd like to work with. So this is a three by four inch uh, standard beer label template. So uh, I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw over this to show you something. Okay, so I've drawn over this and I'm going to go up to the size here and you'll see that it's not actually 3x4, it's 3.25 by 4.25. So what that means is they've, they've just added some extra space, this printing company. I'll just get rid of that. So basically they've added an extra 1 8, 1 8 bleed. Okay, so this is actually an additional one eighth in between here. So the safe zone, the safe zone is where all your logos. So this, for example, this here and these green pieces here, this text here, it all needs to be in this safe zone. So you want to make sure that everything that you want to keep is within this line. This next line here is the bleed. It's also the trim. So Bleed means that you want to extend your artwork to this edge. So whatever you want to keep, it should at least extend to this edge. And the trim, this is where they're going to cut. Okay. So let's, let's use this, this graphic here as an example. I'm just going to pull it all the way over here. Okay. So here's our safe zone. So anything in this safe zone is going to be kept for sure. This is where they're going to trim. So this is ideally where your your artwork should extend. So you can see everything is going to get printed here and this is where it's going to be cut off. So I don't really care about this part here or this part here if it gets cut off. It's not a big deal as long as it looks pretty good otherwise. So let's move that off to the side. So here it says images and text in the shaded area will be trimmed. So that's this is essentially gone. This is just a, basically a guide. And labels are really, really simple. It's just basically a box, but labels can also come in different uh, ovals or, you know, they might have like this square here, but then they'll have like a circle on top. So um, depending on label or package design, these, these things can get a little bit more complicated, but this is uh, basically just a basic understanding of what these lines mean. Anyway, happy designing.